Good morning, Kipsters, and happy Wednesday. So, before we start, CGI, I have to tell you, today is pick a strawberry day. I know we can't go outside, so instead of picking a strawberry, I would like to see you guys eating strawberries. If you have strawberries at home, send me a picture of you guys eating strawberries. All right, we got that out the way. We can dive into CGI. You guys know you are flying into first grade, so the music that I have is superhero themed music. You guys probably already know you already need your paper and your pencil. So I'm just going to give you 15 seconds to get situated and get ready. Are you ready to hear our music? Ready, set, go. That is some pretty cool anticipation music. Like, if that doesn't get you excited for first grade, it just ease and it was like it was creeping up. I wonder, let me see something. If the music builds up, let me double check. Just what I thought. The music was just creeping, creeping, creeping. Boom! There it go. That's what happened. That is what's going to happen with you guys. You guys are creeping, 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 creeping to first grade. Then, boom, you're going to be in there before you know it. All right. So, now that we know that we're getting ready, we are, our minds are racing, we are ready for a CGI, I want to tell you. So, Dwight has seven boxes of fruit snacks. And he has the good kind. I don't know if you guys ever had the Scooby-Doo snacks. Yep, with that nice um, blue one. That blue one is so good. So he has seven boxes of those. But there were six fruit snacks in each box. I want to know how many fruit snacks does Dwight have. Let's check out our problem. It says, Dwight bought seven boxes of fruit snacks. There are six fruit snacks in each box. How many fruit snacks did the white buy? I'm going to read it one more time because I don't want you guys to get tricked. The white bought seven boxes of fruit snacks. There were six fruit snacks in each box. Well, Jameson wrote in two times. How many fruit snacks did the white buy? I'm going to cover this up, and I want someone to tell me what does the story say. Go ahead. Say, way to go, me. All right. I want to know, does Dwight have more or less than seven fruit snacks? Hmm. More or less? Hmm. Well, you guys know what we have to do. We have to draw our, yeah, our fruit snacks. If you want to draw your boxes of fruit snacks, that is fine. So I'm just going to massage my brain really quick. All right, we have to massage our brain because this is a new problem and it might be difficult. We're going to see. So I'm going to give you four minutes on the clock to solve this problem. And your time starts now. Ms. is going to get her cubes.
and line everything up. Okay, so my shoulder here tracks on her cute. You're drawing everything nice and neat. You are making sure that you have drawn your cubes, you have labeled them, you have went back and checked your work because that's what good first graders do. They go back and check their work. You're making sure that you write your number sentence. All right, hipsters, how many fruit snacks does the white have? Mmm, I thought you guys were gonna get tricked by this, but you weren't. All right, I'm gonna show you two ways that I solved this problem. So I have my cubes already. So let me show you. I spaced them out. Okay, we know that Dwight has seven boxes of fruit snacks. So here, okay, I can do this so you can see the seven boxes. There's a box, there's a box, that's the second box, the third box, the fourth box, the fifth box, the sixth box, and the seventh box. So we know these are his seven boxes. Inside his seven boxes, there are six fruit snacks. So I have six in this one, six in this one, six in, six in each one. So I'm going to count how many fruit snacks he has all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. If you got 42 fruit snacks, you got it. That's the answer. He had 42 fruit snacks. So I'm going to show you on the board how I solved this. I'm looking for my marker. All right. So I had six, six. Six, another six, another six, another six, and another six. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes. So I have six in each box. Now I counted them. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. 42. So for our number sentence, we will have 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6. Six plus six equals forty two because it was seven boxes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Another way, what give me a thumbs up if you did it this way. Another way that Miss Jameson did this is okay, I have my. Here, my seven boxes. I know that I can count by six. It might be difficult, but especially if you have your number chart, you can count by six. So we have six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42. I'm going to do it one more time. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42. So I'm going to write how I counted this. I did. My six cubes. That's the third box. This is the fourth box. This is the fifth box. This is the sixth box. And this is the seventh box. So I have six, 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 and six. And I decided to count by six. Six, twelve. 18, 24, 30, 36, 42. So because I did that, I'm going to write my number sentence. We can write it out like this, but I'm going to write six because there was six in each box and we know there was seven boxes. So I have six 
times seven. There was six fruit snacks in seven boxes. So I'm going to write 42. Six times seven equals 42. Six fruit snacks in seven boxes equals 42. If you did it that way, give me a thumbs up. You guys worked so hard today. I know that was a long problem, but you grew your brain so much. And I cannot wait to see your work. This is what first graders do. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, Kipsters.